Thing Constantine's long arms. <laughs> Dance, monkey. <laughs> So do you usually thin out your ink like this? Um, lately, just, yeah. Just in the early hard. phases? Or? Yeah. Oh, well, I would usually pencil it first, but since I don't have one, that's why I'm... Oh, well, oh, you gotta do, uh, oh we have, have pencils. pencils. Yeah. yeah, it's cool. See it looks like. It doesn't need a pencil. I was gonna take them, but now that you said that... <laughs> Way to go, Hunter. Way to go, Hunter. Pass. Well, that's what pencils look like. <laughs> oh my god. If you need it. Funny guy, aren't you? <laughs> this brush is kind of starting to feel like it's age. So. Uh, how later? John's face is very forgiving the way I drew it just because it's got a lot of black. When you're penciling a page, um, <clears throat> To what extent do you plan out all that black that you put on? Um, you a, lot of, a lot of it's actually, I don't know how it's going to work out. I'll leave it just to figure it out when I ink it. Um, which I like, but sometimes it won't work out. <clears throat> I'll have to make a lot of uh, fixes or start over. Mm. Sometimes I'll draw five heads and ink all of them quick and just pick the best one, cut it out, stick it on my page. Um, Do you ever thumb out your pages? Oh yeah, definitely. To get the storytelling. Uh, I don't know. See, like right now, I don't know what I'm going to do about these cheeks. Or I don't know where I am. I don't know who you are. <laughs> that doesn't sound too good. <laughs> Forgiving uh, jacket, so I don't have to draw his neck. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Stuff. Is that's it Tina Cybert? No, it's not. The, it's doing hell. Is it? Okay. I don't know. It is Constantine. <laughs> oh, I never. I never. <laughs> does he have sideburns? He does not. Um, Damn straight. Neo yeah. didn't. Extra credit for you. you mean Keanu? I don't think Neo does. Keanu Reeves. God, what a terrible Constantine. I thought he was uh, correct because he was like worthless. Holy <laughs> yeah. oh, shit! It looked pretty. <laughs> pretty good art direction, I thought. Yeah. It's like Matrix yes. with a crossbow. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I like the gold brass knuckles. <laughs> that's all you like. Yeah. And that's the only thing I like yeah, about the crosses, right? Yeah, they yeah, have crosses yeah, on the gold. Crosses on them, so they punch their feelings. It actually worked. For some reason. <laughs> <laughs> a piece of metal helped them out. I think really it was, we can agree that Shia LaBeouf was the reason that movie was bad. Shia LaBeouf was in that movie? Oh god, they're trying to erase he him didn't from even that memory. There. No, that's didn't. the reason it was bad. <laughs> we repressed it. I fuck up, everyone can know. What? What did you say? Uh, the one thing about going loose, I like it because it's, um, it's easier, it's less stress. Uh, I like that a lot of these lines are just shitty lines and you see them in any scribbling in any notebook of any high school student, you know? Um, <laughs> high school student. I don't know about that. I don't know about yeah, that. So. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm better than that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh man, you know a nice big brush would be easier right now. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Do you tape your work down? That would take preparation. Fuck that. <laughs> mm, I agree. That's work. Is Higgins your preferred ink? No. No. Higgins sucks. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. What's the, what's the best ink? Uh, I like to use um, just shitty speedball ink. Yeah. But on um, rough paper. Yeah it dries in the paper much better. If I used smooth paper and it dried on top, it would disappear a lot when I would erase. 
So each ink is definitely only good on certain yeah. paper. I mean, maybe there's a magic. Higgins, if you up. leave it by itself for like maybe like a month, it becomes like this crap, like gray water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What you can do is age it and just take the cap off for the night and let the water evaporate and just the pigment is left. So you can darken your ink that way. Ooh. And if it gets too thick, you can always add water to it after and stir it up. I mean, it's, that's, it's a that's mobile awesome. process. Mm -hmm. That's the right word. Do you bleed your ink a lot like this when you're working? Uh, sometimes. I'd like to do it more. I think yeah. in my next book I might do a whole scene. That'd be crazy. Just to, because a lot of guys use wash, but they'll just like fill it in gray, call right. it wash. I like to let it. Yeah, the bleeding. Do you use a, a rapidograph sometimes? No. 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 Microns. Uh, very rarely. Tiny lines. What do you use for like? Yeah, the tiny lines. Uh, brush. Just like this. Oh, well, kind of that slapping nib? it down, but. Oh, the nib. Yeah, I can get razor thin on this if I want to. Oh, thank you. Break it and do that. I went to scan and I adjusted. Obviously, it's a little different. Uh, it'll look a little different. Uh, no, I'd like to. Actually, it would really be cool to be less precious about it and to just go and go for more of a Japanese print type of feel, you know? Maybe you should try that on your I will. Yeah, I definitely will. Now that I'm confident. I mean, to do that halfway through Joe would be... Plus, Joe is kind of a cartoon in a way, so yeah. it has to be a little cleaner. Well, I kind of look at it as a um, slightly mature, more mature Calvin and Hobbes. So I'm probably cool with you know, letting it be uh, kind of cartoony. But I don't want people, uh, editors in the future to forget. I don't want Axel to go, oh, you drew Joe, that kid's book. The fuck I'm going to let you do Punisher. You know? I'm like, no, 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 look at your home laser. And Philip will slam the door by then. I just, Axel's a cool guy. You just slide it. You should draw five pages constantly and slide it under the door every day. And he'll destroy it and you'll send five more. <laughs> so he can't, he can't escape you. <laughs> Any idea you have not sound creepy? Oh, no. You should have owls deliver your pages through. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching way too much Harry Potter. <laughs> owls. Hmm. Expensive. Any much an owl trainer cost these days? Oh, man. Actually, no. <laughs> I was hoping someone would jump in, but no one saved me. Um, excuse me. When you uh, go the reverse, you, you use white. Of when you use white, what kind of white ink or? I use pro white. It's uh. Oh, I forgot. Okay, yeah, it's just cheap stuff. I have to go over it a few times probably. And yeah, it's it's a very nice like pure white almost if when you make it. Like opaque. Um, it's slightly opaque. I mean, when you water it down, it's pretty. Uh. It's, it's kind of gray. If you you mm -hmm. got to kind of let it saturate, the water saturate a bit before you can use it and work it a little bit. Uh, it's not great, but it's cheap and it does the job, so. Mm -hmm. Cool. So how do you keep um, you know, speed lines like that accurate when you're going over, like, like you had some double page spreads in there, right? Speed lines are going up over the whole page. That was a quill. <laughs> um, anybody have a ruler? A ruler? Oh. Yeah. I have a level. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want it can be 